There are other supporting items that you can look at, like you can now find inspiration on the top search results for that particular topic and go see what their titles and their thumbnails and their descriptions look like. Optimize your title, how to optimize your description, and how to optimize your tags using TubeBuddy. Okay. So when you take a look at the results tab right here, this will show you what the top search results have. So you need to be thinking, okay, how do I beat this guy? How do I beat this guy? And how do I beat this guy? How do you get a higher click-through rate than them on your content in order to break through on YouTube? If you can't get a higher click-through rate than them, and you can't get a higher retention rate than these top search results, then you are not going to be able to break through on that topic, and you are not going to be able to grow. So so what you have to do, figure out how to beat them. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna look at what the best practices are for these titles and for these thumbnails for this topic. And as you can see, and this is just a random topic, I'm sure that you guys can see the pattern right now. In these thumbnails, every single how to set up a new fishing rod, how to set up a reel and rod, how to string the rod, they all show the rod in the thumbnail and they show somebody holding it or demonstrating it uh, in some capacity. But you notice that the top search result just shows a guy holding it and that's it. This one right here has got it on a table. This one has it close up, but the most simple and most impactful search result here is just a dude holding the fishing rod. So if I were making this video, I generally like to look at the best practices of the top search result, take those best practices, and then double down on them. So if I were making a thumbnail on this particular topic, and if you guys are making a thumbnail trying to beat the number one search result or trying to come close to the number one search result on something, take a look at what their thumbnail format is and just copy that as a starting place. So if I are making this video, I would take a picture of me in my boat on the water holding the fishing pole. Easy, easy, easy. This is what you're doing with your thumbnails. You're looking at their best practice of your thumbnail. You're analytically breaking it down and analyzing every part of their thumbnail, the number one search result, to understand why they are number one. Because if you want to become number one, you need to become like them and then you need to become better than them. Now you're gonna take a look at their title. Okay, how to set up new fishing rod. So notice how they don't have proper grammar here. It doesn't really matter. So your title doesn't need to have proper grammar either. How to fishing pole set up. That's a pretty ridiculous title, right? But you're doing it strictly for search results. So what you're gonna do, notice their best practices. They don't all caps new fishing rod right there. They don't all caps anything anywhere in these top search results. So don't all caps your title. Use their best practices to your advantage and do what audiences already want. You're gonna take a look at their descriptions because the first line or so in their descriptions is a part of what's helping make them successful on YouTube. So this first one says, so you have a new fishing rod and you wanna know how to put the line on and how to put your hook, sinker and swivel? No problem, dot, dot, dot. Notice how the top line, the top of this description right here tells you exactly what the value is that the viewer is going to get from this video. They state the problem that the viewer has in their description. So they say what they want, we have a new fishing rod and you want to know how to put the line on. They say what you want in the first part of it. Then they say what the challenge is. And you want to know how to put on a line, hook, sinker, and swivel. That's the challenge. And then the last part is you put the solution. No problem. We have the solution to that in this video. So I would click this video because it says what I want. It says what challenges I'm having. And it tells me it's going to fix that. Now that you have this metadata, now you can go into your YouTube creator studio and you can begin to construct the metadata for this video before you even make the video. You should be doing all of this before you even record your video with TubeBuddy. Link in the description below. If you haven't already got TubeBuddy, it is free. There is a paid version as well, but it is free to use up to a certain extent. Upload a random video on your YouTube channel. And this is what I like to call my SEO workshop, my search engine optimization workshop. And you guys should have a similar workshop in your dashboard. And this is a video that you'll never release, but you just use it to build out the metadata for future videos. You use it as sort of a playground to optimize your content. So here in the SEO workshop, what you're going to do is you're going to grab the title that you got in TubeBuddy that we just saw a moment ago. You're going to copy it. You're going to bring it over to your SEO workshop and you're going to plug it in right here. Then you're going to write a description based on what we just talked about a moment ago, right? So basically the description that this guy had right here, I'm going to take his description and I'm going to use that top search result description as a template for my own description. And I'm going to change it around based on what I, my video is going to be. I would start it with the word you to address the audience. You have a, I would capitalize 
Supply's new fishing rod, comma, and you want to know how to put the line on. I'm making it better than his. The line, hook, sinker, and swivel on. I would say learn it all in five minutes. So you notice how I took the description of one of my competitors here, I modified it, and I made it better. You see how I consolidated what the person who already got the number one search result down to something that's even better and I improved on that? That is called a skyscraper strategy. If you're trying to break into your particular niche on YouTube, one of the best ways, not try to divine the answers from scratch by yourself. One of the best ways to do this is just to take a look at what the top guys are already doing, copy what they're doing, and constantly try to improve upon their format to try to break in. Once you've done that 10 times, 20 times, 30 times, 40 times, 50 times, and you're constantly improving video over video and optimizing video over video, you'll figure out what your thing is. You'll figure out what your angle is. You'll figure out what your audience wants to see, okay, versus just copying the top guys. But there's no sense in trying to divine all of the answers from scratch out of midair for no reason when the answers are already right in front of you on YouTube. Once you have already created your title and your description for your video, then what you're gonna do is work on those tags. How important are tags? The correct answer is tags don't matter that much but you should still put them in for search purposes when you're trying to break in through YouTube search. But once you've already established a gigantic audience, tags are not that important. So what you're gonna do, what I like to do is I like to take the title of the video and I like to make that my number one tag. Then based on that title of that video, using TubeBuddy, you guys have already installed TubeBuddy, right? You're gonna click that title of your video here. You're gonna double click it and it's gonna pull open the keyword explorer. Then based on your title, not random keywords, based on your title, you're going to look for relevant tags to that particular subject that you can plug into your video. Highly specific. What I like to do is go through actually video searches for my tags at first. Say it's applicable to people that want trout, saltwater, bass, catfish, open face, and all these variants. I like to put in as a tag the actual video searches that people are searching for. And then I will go down to common video tags, which are usually way less valuable. And I'll look down here and I'll say, okay, are any of these tags down here relevant? Most of them aren't, but let's say that fishing rod and fishing reel are relevant, okay? Only do ones that are insanely relevant, that's it. Then you click action and then insert into current video, this button right here. Then all of those tags that we just selected here that are highly relevant to your content will now be pumped into your video. They're now aggregating from this research tool into your actual video. But notice how, I really wanna point this out, I didn't put a bunch of junk tags in here or very general tags like fishing and how to and bass fishing and fish. Because guess what? We're trying to go a lot more specific. We're trying to target something way more niche. That's how you are gonna break through with your content is by targeting something way more niche, way more specific, because you aren't gonna be able to get the number one search result for bass fishing or for fishing in general as a small YouTuber, as somebody who's trying to grow, you have to go a couple layers deeper. So only put in tags that are a couple layers deeper, okay? It works, trust me.